Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gorilla Tag Fan Games tutorial. Now this has probably been one of the most requested ones for a while. Now this is how to add moderator events to your Gorilla Tag Fan Game. Now one thing I have to say before I make this tutorial, yes, uh, you will need Playfab for this and I have left some good videos, link in the description for how to add Playfab. Shout out to Be Awesome, he made this new really well edited one. I recommend watching him, but I recommend Be Awesome because he, uh, he explains everything really well. Okay, the first thing you gotta do before you start this tutorial is go to my Discord link in the description. It should be called the Fruit Pickers. Scroll down till you see the category called Scripts for Your Own Girl Tag Fan Game. Scroll down till you see Playfab Login and download the script. And once you've downloaded it, it should show up like in here or something in your downloads. You can just drag this into your Unity like this and then just let go. Now with the Playfab Login script, you just wanna right click, create, uh, create empty, call it like Playfab Login, and then add your Playfab script. Okay. First thing you need to do, so you boot up your Playfab. A lot of stuff's gonna have to be blurred out for this video's purposes because obviously IDs, loads of stuff's on Playfab here. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is when you go into your Playfab, you need to go down to Economy. Once you've opened up Economy, create a new catalog and call this catalog. Disturb that I have four, do not make four. Just make one catalog, call it catalog, or just whatever you want. Uh, now once you've made the catalog, copy the catalog's name, go back into your Unity, and go to the Playfab login empty game object where it says catalog name, add catalog. Okay, this basically means if you make any special items uh, from this catalog that will actually work in your game. Okay, now what you need to do, you might already have Playfab and know how to make a special item. But for those two who don't know how to make a special item, I will be showing you today. Make your moderator vents object, obviously mine is just a cube, just call this whatever you want. I'm going to do pee poo, do not ask why. Okay, so basically we're gonna make it so when a specific we can make it so a specific player when they load up the game that um this cube won't be there for them. Is make a new object, call it whatever you want, mine's called PP Poo. Uh then go back into Playfab, go to your catalogue, create a new item hit new item up here where it says item ID, put in the copy in the name, where it says display name, copy in the name, where it says item class, copy in the name, then hit save item. Now what you need to do is you need to go into players look for the specific player you want to give the item to these will all be blurred because these are obviously very important but as you can see right here it says per this is my name in game so i'm just going to go into this and once you're in here go to inventory legacy and where it says grant new item just where it says from catalog make sure it's set to the catalog name you made and the item id is just the name of the object in your actual uh, unity game see mine's called pp no pp and then this is called pp and then hit grant item as you will see it is now here now what you need to do is one more step. Go back into your Playfab login script where it says disable items, add a new one and set that to your mod vents. Now when we load up the game for my specific chosen account, this item will not show. As you see when I load in I go to scene. As you can see that see if you've very quickly seen that item disabled, but it will only go away for me because I gave my specific uh Playfab ID the special item. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this Girl Tech Fan Game tutorial. 